With Syria already enduring a civil war, the looming threat of U.S. firepower coming down on the country is just one more thing for them to worry about. RT's Maria Finocean has been finding out how the threat of an intervention is affecting people on the streets. Tomorrow, next week, next month, Syria is wondering if or when America's missiles will strike and what the aftermath will be. But for many people here, it doesn't pay to linger on what tomorrow will bring, because there is already a war today. Every day, every hour, every minute, we endure bombardment. We have bombs and terror attacks, shelling. It's not very hard to face America after dealing with the jihadists for so long. We've been at war for two years with bombs falling in our heads just a few kilometers from here. Cruise missiles or rebels, what is the difference? Mashal Walid, not his real name, has a nice apartment in an upmarket area of Damascus. But a year ago, he moved into the hotel he's running for safety reasons after a family member was kidnapped by what he says were members of an Al-Qaeda-linked group. We don't feel safe, of course, not because of... Uh, of uh, the strike. We've got Jabhat al-Nasra, they are throwing these things against us here, civilians, and that's very bad. Jabhat al-Nusra is considered to be one of the most successful and aggressive opposition forces, promoting fundamental Islam and proclaiming the end of the Assad regime. They are believed to hold several districts around Damascus, where they engage in almost daily battles with government troops. Both the UN and the US, among others, consider it a terrorist organization. Actually, I, I think that America should side us because we are fighting terrorism. America doesn't agree. I have decided that the United States should take military action against Syrian regime targets. They have no rights to strike a country member in the United Nations. Each Syrian person who loves his country, he will never accept Obama to, to send one missile or to attack. That's just another entry on a long list of daily concerns which already includes terror attacks, kidnappings and killings. Those living in residential areas of Damascus say several days ago they started receiving letters like this one advising them to clear their basements in preparation. For now, no one I spoke to looked like they would follow the advice. Syrians may vote with their feet when the bombs start to fall. But for now, they've got plenty of other things to worry about. Marif Noshnati reporting from Damascus in Syria.